All right, here it is, Friday night. We're just about ready for the big day, finishing up plans. So a lot of you are probably wondering, what exactly does it take to bring 10 dogs back at once? So first of all, I wanted to bring you into my kennels here tonight. We have some nice cushiony beds all ready for the dogs. Some are off the floor and then they have some blankets and beds on the floor as well so they get whatever they like. Um, you know, when you take dogs out of a situation like this, or really out of any pound, you really can't just throw them into a home right away and expose them to your own pets and uh, you know not knowing much about their behavior or about their medical history. So here at Lab Rescue, we make sure that the dogs are kept quarantined of sorts. Um, you know, they're in their kennels. They're, of course, out playing a lot. We take them on walks in the neighborhood, but they're not mixed with any of our foster homes, house pets, until we know much more about them. So most of the dogs will get settled right here in these kennels uh, tomorrow. And we're very lucky to have four adoptions this week and two dogs that were already done with their vetting process go to foster homes. So we have lots of space in the kennels and we have their bowls already. Uh, everything got washed, the floors got scrubbed tonight. We've never had this empty of a kennel, so it's awesome that we were able to make room for these dogs. So I'm coming in the kitchen right now, that's Lakota. So tomorrow our kitchen is going to be set up as a mobile clinic of sorts. Our wonderful vets, Dr. Shaw and Dr. Perry at Broadview Animal and Bird Hospital in Seven Hills have made it possible for Dr. Perry and some of her staff to come here tomorrow, she's going to bring her microscope, she's going to bring everything she needs to do, her blood draws, her heartworm tests, and um, she's going to do a full exam on every dog as soon as they get unloaded, which is awesome. So these are my personal dogs. They'll be hanging out in the bedroom while this is all going on tomorrow. So we have some special treats ready for them. And that's my husband, making some really good Indian food. Um, another thing we're gonna be doing tomorrow is as soon as we get the dogs we are going to be giving them their Bordetella vaccine, so I'm getting that all ready because that has to be kept on ice because it needs to be refrigerated. And then each dog will also get a Capstar, and Capstar is a great little pill that kills off any fleas or ticks within about 30 minutes to an hour. So each dog will get that, their lovely Greenies pill pockets. So if any donors want to send more of those our way, we always need tons of those. Um, and that way the dogs will have been vaccinated and gotten their Capstar before they get back here to get their other vaccines and we'll also treat them with topical and flea and tick when they get here. So I'm heading out the door right now. I wanna head out to the car, sorry, it's kinda of dark. Um, so you can see how we set up for multiple dog transport. We will have four cars going tomorrow. This being one of them, so I know it's kinda of hard to see, but I have two crates in here plus room for a third dog behind a barrier. Sorry, that's really dark. So everybody will be nice and safe. We'll keep the dogs separated and contained while we are driving so that they're safe. And then in the car here, we have our Freedom Ride sign, first of all. And I can get another light on here. Well, I guess not. Um, so we're taking medical charts on all of the dogs. So I have a chart set up for every dog already so that when we administer their medications at the pound we can record that we'll also be recording anything that we learn about the dogs we have um, all sorts of treats ready for them um, we have all sorts of collars and leashes and on an each dog's collar we will have their name and our phone number so gosh forbid if anything should happen they'll have that taped right onto the collar and they'll be ready to uh get safely back here to the Cleveland area. So other than, you know, some snacks and things like that for the road, we are all set and good to go. So thanks for following us. Thanks to all of our supporters and we are all set and ready to head to Pennsylvania tomorrow. Thanks everybody. Catch us tomorrow. We'll post as much as we can throughout our trip. Bye-bye.